What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. This is Marketing with Dev. Make sure you guys give me a like, comment, subscribe, and hit those bell notifications so you can be notified when I drop new videos just like this one. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I created a $3,000 chatbot and how you guys can do the same thing. And the chatbot that I'm going to be making is a hair consultation chatbot that's going to be placed on one of my other brands, it's a hair care business, and it's going to be on the website. And it's going to answer all different types of hair care questions that different customers might have. So for this chatbot, we are also using VoiceFlow. I know there are some other platforms you can use, but I'm going to be using VoiceFlow in this tutorial. So what you're gonna to need to do is create an account. And then once you create an account, this is your dashboard. You're gonna to wanna to go to the top right and go to new agent. Now that we're here, we are going to name the agent. So just give it a name that you'll be able to recognize your language, select your language, and you can also select a template, whichever template that you think would work best for you. And then next we select get started. So now we're gonna put in a URL, which the chatbot will pull data from. So all of the information that you have on your website, your chatbot is going to be able to pull from that information to use in its responses. So paste the website URL in there and import. Now that we have our website imported, we want to add another knowledge source or a data source. So what we want to do is put in a bunch of information on a Google document or something like that and save it as a PDF and upload it. So the type of information you're going to need is going to depend on the type of chatbot you're creating. So for this type of chatbot that I'm creating, it's literally going to be like a consultant for a customer who wants to buy hair care products. So we want to make sure that it's able to answer all different types of hair care questions, whether it be troubleshooting different problems, people dealing with split ends, their hair is not growing or whatever the case may be. We need to make sure that this thing has the information to be able to respond to all of those different inquiries. So depending on what you're doing or what kind of chatbot you have or you're creating, it's going to determine on what kind of information you need but it should always have all of your basic information, like shipping time, all of your policy, return policy, shipping policy, everything like that. All of your basic information, it should definitely have, and it should have all of the answers to the most frequently asked questions that you get. And you can easily just use ChatGPT to actually make a little knowledge base for you. That's what I did, and I'll actually show you guys what I use and how I did it inside ChatGPT. So to create our knowledge source or our data source, what I did was go into ChatGPT and give it this prompt. So I'm creating an AI consultant chatbot named Lola that will be on the Praise Hair Care website. Customers can describe their hair struggles and the bot will recommend solutions and products. I want Lola to be able to answer all questions that concern the issues that women have to deal with when it comes to hair, including dry hair, hair breakage, hair not growing, hairstyles, etc. I'm creating this chatbot with voice flow, create a knowledge base for Lola that will accomplish my goal. So as you guys can see, that was my prompt. And you're gonna wanna obviously put in all the information that's relevant for your company or the company that you're making the chatbot for, like I did here. And then this is what we got. So I'm not going to read all of this because it would take a long time, but it broke it down into sections. And the first section are hair care fundamentals. The next one is common hair concerns and solutions and has all this information, has recommendations, potential causes, all of these types of things. It's Definitely a good in-depth knowledge base that we got. The next section is advanced topics and personalized advice. The next section is how Lola should process customer input. The next section is integration with Praise Haircare's product catalog. Next section, disclaimers and additional guidance. So after I got all of this, I copied it and I pasted it to a Google Doc, added it, included it with some information that I know about my company already, put everything together, and then I saved it as a PDF file. And then I uploaded that as a knowledge base. And then I uploaded that as a data source inside of VoiceFlow. So that is how my chatbot got its knowledge base. And then for the prompt, which you guys will see later, and I'll tell you guys when to paste this in, I just put in create an agent description for VoiceFlow. And they already know that my agent's name is Lola. And the description they gave is Lola is an intelligent and empathetic AI consultant dedicated to helping you achieve beautiful, healthy hair designed specifically for the Praise Hair Care website. Lola listens to your hair concerns, whether it's dry hair, breakage, slow growth, frizz, or styling dilemmas, and provides personalized advice and product recommendations. With in-depth knowledge of various hair types, textures, and care routines, Lola guides you through understanding your hair's unique needs, suggesting targeted solutions and best practices. Friendly, approachable, and knowledgeable, Lola is here to empower you with the right tips and products to nurture and transform your hair care journey. So that is the prompt that you guys will see why you'll need it later, and then we'll paste that in. 
but let's go back into voice flow now so we're going to go to add data source at the top right upload file select the file import good so now we have our two data sources you can add more if you want but we should be just fine with these two so what we're going to do is click this workflow right here question answer let's edit workflow and i like to just start from scratch so i'm just going to remove everything out of my way so the first thing we're going to want to do is go to the top left and we're going to go to talk and then message and we're going to drag a message down here and then we're going to do the same thing and drag another one and then we're going to connect this to new block one and now we're going to enter our agent message so our consultant or our chatbot's name is going to be lola so let's type something in hi my love this is a brand that is mainly catered to women hence the hi my love now for the second message i just like to create a second follow-up message and it's just going to tell the chatbot to ask it a question so it can help them so let's type that in okay so it says asking any questions about your hair from struggles or styling tips and i'll be glad to answer them for you now we are going to go to the top left and we are going to go to listen and then capture and we're going to drag it out and then we're going to click it next to capture at the top in this drop down where it says entities entire user reply and last utterance and then we're going to go to the top again where it says talk and then prompt and we're going to drag that out also and for prompt we're going to select answer question then we're going to drag this down and then we are going to select dev and then go down to KB search and we're going to put this down here and we're going to click it and then for question we're going to put answer the user's questions last utterance select variable we created a new variable that's response if you don't have one just go create a variable name it response and then we're good and we're actually going to drag this one up to here and we're going to drag this one to here so now we have created our little loop so it's going to get it from here go down and then back up so now the next thing that we're going to do is create another block so we're going to go to the top left underneath um dev and we're going to go to kb search again and we're going to drag it out for a question this is going to be last utterance save chunks of variable response you should now have and now we're going to go to talk and we're going to drag out a prompt and then we're going to select new prompt and you're going to use what i showed you guys how to create in chat gpt earlier we're going to grab that and paste it right in there and now we're going to drag this out to here now we should be good to go so let's test it and see if everything is set up properly so we're going to go to the top and press run run test the flow begins hi my love i'm lola your dedicated hair consultant ask me any questions about your hair from struggles to styling tips and i'll be glad to answer them for you so let's ask some why is my hair so dry and here is the response right here I'm not going to read the whole thing um but let's try asking something else how can i grow my hair longer and same thing they tell us to help grow hair longer one trim in every eight to 12 weeks two eat protein rich foods yada 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 now another thing that we can do to test it out is we can go to share prototype and we can get this link copied and then we can open this and check it out so start conversation same beginning opening flow let's ask something else why is my scalp 
So oily, oily scalp can happen due to several reasons, overactive oil glands, hormonal changes, genetic stress. Let's try asking is something else. How often should I wash my hair? It depends on your hair type, oily hair every other day, no more hair two, three times a week, dry hair one three times a week, curly slash thick hair once a week. And let's ask it one more question. Is there anything about hair? So is there anything about hair you don't know? Let's see what Lola has to say. No way, I'm a hair expert and know tons about hair care, styling tips, problems, and treatments from split ends to hair growth, coloring techniques to scalp health. I've got the knowledge. Ask me anything about hair and I'll give you a clear, helpful answer. Challenge accepted. So as you guys can see, this is a fully functioning chatbot that I made. And we are selling chatbots like these with these types of capabilities for $3,000. So you guys just saw how to build a $3,000 chatbot with voice flow. If you are a business owner or an entrepreneur and you want to learn how you can save hours of your week and generate more leads and sales on autopilot, then click the link in the description and schedule your free AI impact blueprint session with me. I'll analyze your entire business and show you how to use certain AI tools that will save you tons of time every single week and help you generate more sales. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a like, comment, subscribe, and hit those bell notifications so you can be notified when I drop new videos just like this one. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.